Misadventures of Cy and Elmer. is the sad experience of Cy and Elmer. The correspondent school detectives, honored by their fellow citizens of Punkinville for their success in their first detective case, spoiled their own glory at the Tigers Club luncheon. For three days, Elmer rehearsed a speech chosen from a library book, only to have the sheriff make the same speech ahead of him at the meeting. We now find Cy and Elmer in their office discussing the harsh ways of an unsympathetic world. I tell you, Si, there ain't no use arguing with me. I'm going to get out of this town. Yeah, but, Elmer, why should you leave town? You ain't done nothing wrong. Certainly I ain't done nothing wrong. But I can't never show my face around here again after what happened. Yeah. I tell you, Si Perkins, I feel so darn small that I could have walked out through the keyhole. Yes, without even bending over. Now, Elmer, it wasn't your fault that the sheriff used the same speech you was going to use. He just got the same book from the library as you did. That's all. Yeah, that's all. That's all. That's all you've been saying all morning. That's all. Of course, it's all. But that's plenty, ain't it? There I was. All dressed up and ready to give me a speech at the Tigers Club lunch. Yes, sir. And that darn sheriff gets up and gives the same speech right in front of me. Yes, yeah, I know, Elmer. But the feller as smart as you are should have just made up another speech and uh, gone right on. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Easy enough to talk about making up a speech, ain't it? Yeah. You just wait till sometime you're getting up on your high legs to say a speech you've been studying on for days and days. Guess you wait, Si. And then have some other feller get up and say the words right out of your mouth. <laughs> make up a speech. Why, you dirty little runt, you can't even make up your own mind. Now, you might just as well cool down, Elmer. And yeah. well, you know as well as I do that you ain't going to leave Punkinville. Oh, I don't see how I'm going to stand it, Si. Huh? All the fellas on the street keeps asking me, how'd your speech go, Elmer? Yeah. Else to say, well, well, if it ain't our silver-tongued orator. <laughs> the worst thing was what the widow said. Yeah, I know you and her was having a little fussing in the kitchen after breakfast. But I couldn't hear what was about. Yeah, you could have guessed without hearing. Yeah. She told me next time I got a speech out of a library book, take all the other books and burn him up. <laughs> hey, that's what she said. You did a fine helping thing for your best gal to say, ain't it? Yeah, your best gal? Yes. Well, I ain't so sure of that. Uh, Zack Featherstone had the last dance with the widow at the banker's party. Well, I know all about that. What's that got to do with the widow being the best gal? Even my best girl's got to dance with some of the fellas, ain't she? Yeah, I reckon she does have to dance with them. Hey. Yeah, but she don't have to go buggy riding with him every day. What's that? What's, what would you say, Cy Perkins? Did we ride buggy riding with St. Featherstone? That's just what you said, Emma. She's been out with him for two days now. And the reason that she didn't get our supper cooked on time last night was because she and Zach was uh, looking at the sunset together. Oh, I don't believe Yes, sir. And I'm telling you, Emma... That when a gal is out to looking at the sunset with a feller and uh, forgets to cook the supper for another feller, the feller at the sunset looking has got more chances with her than a feller with a forgot supper. Well, sweet shades of sold of snacks, Si. Huh? I'm going out there to take Freddy Stone's dairy for him and twist the tails of every darn cow he milks. Uh, um, yes, sir, I am. Uh, to get one of them to kick him right square in the nose. Buggy riding with it, huh? Yeah. Buggy riding. Yeah. After all the money I spent on her for ice cream, sodies, and old days, suckers, and everything. Well, it serves you right. What do you mean? I mean, it serves you right. Yes, you do. Well, what serves me right? Just what's happening to you? Well, what's happening to me? Uh, 
He ain't got sense enough to know. I ain't gonna tell you. Sight Perkins, you're getting too darn smart for your sense. Now you tell me what you're driving at. Go on, tell me or I'll take this ink bottle and give your silly old face a good watch. Do you hear me? Huh? Sai, what are you hinting at? I'm not the hinting, Adam Murphy, no. buddy. I'm trying to tell you that if you don't quit that into so smart and uh, know any talk, Folks ain't gonna like you. I don't care what they Yeah, well, you care or not, ain't gonna do her. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. Them fellers at the Tigers Club was only a joking with you, Wilmer. Yeah. yeah, but you got mad and told them they didn't know nothing. And now they are mad at you. Well, don't you think fellers don't know nothing? Yeah. Fight the whole works, I come put near being, I tell you. Yeah, that's trouble. And when they start to joke with Elmer P., buddy, well, they want to go easy, that's now, all. Now, that ain't no way to act, Henry. You're just sore. And you won't give in if she was wrong. Yeah, they weren't wrong. Well, I know something was going to happen. And so did Clarence and Sam. When they give you that uh, flower and the uh, rabbit's foot for luck. Yeah, but you wouldn't listen to none of us. That uh, serves you right. Yes, I've been thinking some doing about that, too, Mr. Perkins. Yeah. And I made up my mind you had something to do with it. Elmer, yeah, how could I have anything to do with a sheriff's speech? How could you? <laughs> well, here's my deduction uh, from right. the clues to hand. Yeah. Now, when you first heard the sheriff was going to speak before me, you didn't like him then, did you? Yeah. No. Now, I didn't like him talking in front of you, Emmer. Yes, you bet you didn't. No, I didn't. You said you was afraid the sheriff would put some over on his, too. Didn't you say that? Well, didn't you? Yes, I did, Emmer, but... Uh... Well, all right, then. Ain't no buts about it. There ain't but one reason why you didn't want the sheriff to speak in front of me. What's that? Cy Perkins, you know the sheriff was going to say my speech. Elmer, how can you say such a thing? Easy enough. I just opened my mouth and the words come out. Yeah. And the truth is easy said, too. You was against me. Yes, you were. Your own partner. In helping him fellas pull a joke on me. Yeah. That's more than I can stand. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm going to leave this town and I ain't coming back. Now, you know that ain't so, Elmer. Yeah. I never played no trick on you. And you ain't a going away. Yes, I am, Si. Yes, I am so now. <laughs> this is more than I can stand. I tell you, and I'm a going. Oh. Where are you going, Elmer? Well, I am going over to grab a switch. Yes, sir. Open up a detective office all alone. That's Why? what I'll do. You can have this office and run the suit yourself. I don't care. There's enough cases like finding little poor lost kids and you don't have to go out after dark. Well, you might get along all right. Elmer Peabody, you're plum loco. Damn, huh? Yeah, I'm going to get the doctor for you. You ain't going to get nothing for me. I'm packing up my stuff right now. Uh, hey, now, you just sit still, Elmer Peabody. Keep your hands off of my telephone. Huh? You can do your own telephone answer over at the gravel switch. Yeah, but wait a minute, Si. This, this might be a case, you know. Yeah, I know. And, uh... What if it is a case? Didn't you just say that you was done with this office and uh, I could have all the cases? Well, maybe it did, Si, but... Uh... Yeah, but nothing. You hush up. You know? Yeah. Hey, this is Si. Uh, hello, Zeke. Yep. Yeah. No. Yep. Yeah. Huh? Uh, dead? Oh. How many? Five of them. And uh, two detectives? Oh, that ain't so good. Yeah, I'll come right over and see you. Who? Oh, Elmer. Now, now he won't be with me. Uh, he's going over to grab a switch and open up his own detective office. Say, now, wait a minute. What, what was that, Si? About five being dead. What was it? About five being dead and two detectives. Sound like a real case to work on. Come on, hurry up and tell me all about it. Come well, on, there's huh? nothing to tell you. You just pack your stuff and keep it going for gravel switch. This is the Silas Q. Perkins Detective Agency now. Uh, you ain't no more partner. You just quit. Oh, now, look, Si, I was just only a funny. Yeah. That ain't no way to do me. So you know I just can't get along without you. Yeah, that don't sound so much like what you're always telling me. About how scared I am and no good on hard cases and oh, all of that. that's nothing no, to me. No, 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 You think I ain't smart enough or brave enough to take a hard case by myself. And I'll just take this one and show you a trick or two. Now, look here, Si, you can't do that. Why, 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 look here, this is our office together. Both our names is, is right there on the door. Yeah, and I can take your name off pretty quick. Well, it ain't legal, Si. No, that, that's what it is, it ain't legal. Eh, yeah, what's the matter, it ain't legal? Well, now, look here, both our names is on that door, ain't it? Yeah. That makes us partners now as the law, don't it? Yeah. And one partner gets in on everything and all things that the other partner does. Yeah, maybe that's so. But I, uh, I wouldn't think you'd want to get in on this case. You can run your own office over to Gravel Switch and get all the cases you want. Now, look here, sir. I don't want no cases in Gravel Switch. I want this case right here, I'm telling you. Now, Elmer, you can't have it. You was leaving me, and you can go right ahead and leave. Mm -hmm. All right, that's the way you feel about it, huh? Yeah. All right, I'm going. And what's more, I'm going to open up my new office inside of an hour. Huh? Yes, sir. But my new office won't be in Gravel Switch. No, sir. I'll open her up right straight across the square from here, I will. And I'll take this case right smack out from under your nose. What do you think of that? Why, Elmer, 
He wouldn't do that. Hey, we'll see if I wouldn't do it. We'll find out who's the best detective. Bet your life. And you can take my name off that door right now. Take well, it off. Uh, I don't know about that taking your name off the door, Elmer. It looks kind of nice on that glass, don't it? <laughs> Maybe it does. I won't in a minute. Now, yeah. now, yeah. how do you like that? Huh? My name ain't on the door now, is it? Oh, now, hold on a minute, Elmer. Well, there ain't no sense of you were flying off like that. I reckon I could maybe let you in on the case. Oh, think you could, eh? Huh? Come to your senses, are you? I thought you would. Now, am I the best detective you ever seen? Why, of course you are, Elmer. Uh-huh. And don't I do all the smart and dangerous shattering on all our hardest cases? Uh, yes, Elmer. Uh-huh. I don't reckon I could get along very good without you. <laughs> get along very good. So you couldn't get along at all. Not a bit. Now quit all this fool and tell me what this case is. Hurry up. Well, uh, I don't know if you're still my partner or not. Uh, you was a-going to quit, you know. Cy Perkins, you look here now. I ain't going to fool around with you much longer. Am I still your partner, or do I open up that new office across the square? Uh, well, Elmer, I'll, uh, 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 I'll have to think it over. Yes, well, if you ain't thought it over by the time I count three, you know what I'm going to do? No. I'm going to smash my name out of that window, too. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, One, two... <laughs> All right, Elmer. That window costs four dollars. You're still my partner. Mm-hmm. Now you're talking sense. Ain't no use you trying to act like this, huh? You knew it. You was going to take a case without me. Yes, I was. Gee, take a case without me. What? <laughs> now, come on. Where did you tell you what you fool? Come on. Tell me all about it. Yeah. Did he give us a dangerous case where detectives has been killed? Yeah, he sure did. He yeah, did, huh? But he wouldn't tell me over the phone, Elmer. Why not? Well, we got to go down to the station and see him. Down to the station? Well, then come on, do it. <laughs> I'm halfway to the station right now. <laughs> The thought of Elmer's competition was too much for Cy, and so the firm of Peabody and Perkins is still intact. Your announcer will tell you when you may hear another episode of Cy and Elmer over this station. <laughs>